afternoon everyone and welcome to another world record attempt. This time it's going to be around the Indian circuit to uh, celebrate this weekend's Indian Grand Prix. And uh, you can see that I've chosen Mercedes this time. A few of you were complaining um, about the use of Red Bull. And the world record's in a Mercedes as well so I gathered a pretty quick round here and we'll see how we get on. This video then once again we're going to be using a setup because a lot of you moaned that I wasn't using a setup. You wanted me to get a world record with a setup so we'll use setups from now on. We're going to start with one more wings. We won't do too much tweaking as usual, but um, I think we'll keep that 50-50 for now. 11-11 I like, generally speaking. So yeah, like I said, we won't do too much tweaking for now, but it might need a tweak. And we'll go full gears, I reckon, with that very, very long back straight. Uh, full? Maybe not full. We'll try full, see how we get on. Full left camera, full right toe. There we go. Let's get out of track then. Let's get on with it. So, world record as a ghost. I haven't actually set any laps on this one around time trial, you can see. So I've done no practice at all. Uh, a bit deep there, actually not. Bit of DRS then. So I said I had no practice, which is pretty much true. Um, I just had Romy in there straight away. Yeah, I thought I might have been a bit deep, so I kind of stayed on the brakes a bit too long. So pretty much no practice at this track. I've done the races you've seen, which I think is probably just the crit race actually, to be honest. I don't think I've done any practice other than that at this track at all. So should be an interesting one. I don't do any practice beforehand in these videos either. Just what you can tell the fact that the ghost cars still there haven't set a uh, personal best at all. The OS, of course. Let's see if we, how close we get to the rev limiter. Uh, quite close to it, not too bad though. Couldn't quite get it so down there. Oh, I could actually. <laughs> this is quite strange. This uh, Mercedes turns in pretty sweet. It's got a lot of bites. So once you turn it in, it feels like you're not quite going to get there. And then uh, when it bites, you're like, oh, okay, maybe I am. I'm going to try not and cut and extend this track, but of course they are allowed in real life, so... And, uh, good reason, though, for that, because you can't see, I know I'm in T-cam mode, so I can see a bit better, but you can't actually see up there, I can't actually see the exit, now I can see the exit, when I'm already on it, so uh, it's quite difficult to predict, but uh, it's not impossible. Fall very early, hit this horrible bump, actually, nailed it quite nicely. Bit deep, but got away with it on throw nice and early. Okay, so... Oh. Can we just next that then? Bit wide there. Lots and lots of uh, curves and DRS. And again, Romy in there, the current world record holder. Didn't get a great start to his lap, did he? Breaking a lot earlier this time. Oh, one that very deep. This cost me a lot of time. There we go. Straight away, you can see that. Just nipping that curve on the inside. Oh, nah, straight in the car way too early. He went well off the track. Not going to use any curves. Did use a bit, but not going to use too much. It's pointless. Not going to help. You can see there, my bad exit. Compromise me all the way down the straight to Romian. And uh, hopefully we can improve it next lap. And that was too deep that time. And a bit of... Whoa, lots of wheelspin on the exit. This car does not stick to the track like the Red Bull. No way. And actually, before well, I got a bit of grass there, but I did. But it didn't actually affect the car. And again there, look. I'm getting grass on my tyres. I wonder if that's a... No, you do mean you'll make grass on tyres and... Time trial. Still not getting grass. Tried it there. A uh, little bit wide there. Never quite got to my apex. I'm going to cut this corner just to see. I, know, I didn't get a warning that time, but that's because I already have one. Is that? I can obviously curve that. It's exactly how I need to that corner next time round. I hope I want a good one. A bit deep there again. Never quite got to my apex. Pushed me right out wide. Fish tail all over the place. And on the curves and. DRS nice and early. Yeah, this must get pretty good. So much you're behind roaming this time though. And again, I'm trying, for some reason I tried to break late that time, thinking for some reason that'd be better, which obviously it wasn't. Makes us don't really get much better than that. It's pretty sweet. But it's clearly wasn't as good as Romans. Let's use quite a bit of curse down here. And, uh, Hopefully not the FPS bug, because that will give me a bigger disadvantage. But we'll see. Oh, that was horrible. That is exactly where you don't want to oversteer. Just only having to correct it, mid-corner. Apex is exactly where you do not want any oversteer whatsoever. In fact, I think I'm going to start taking to the grass in some of these corners, because you don't get any grass in your tyres. Like that. You gain time from doing it. And it's still legal. If that was actually tough, like this one is here is, you take as much as you can without trying to cut it. 
<laughs> quite, quite, quite badly, didn't I, last lap? Oh, very early, see if I can make it work. No, it's going to be well, well, well out wide. Gone for a way too early that time, way, way early. The stop's still going to count despite some serious extending. I don't know how to do that in real life, but I shouldn't be allowed to in this game. There we go. Just managed to use all my curves for the line. So 23.8 is my best lap so far, but again, too deep there. Not quite getting it slowed down. Make the exact same mistake over and over and over again. Painful. Come on, Alex, sort it out. And dip a bit deep there. Can use a bit of curse down here. Not too much though, because I've lost time to myself, let alone him. DRS now. I'm down on myself. So, not looking good for this world record, is it? Just can't seem to get a lap together. And whoa, way, way deep. It's pretty horrific, to be honest. Not great at all. Uh, no, again, horrible, 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 horrible. Big, big corner cut. Can say almost full throttle through that. Little double brakes, flick it down to fourth, get it as tight as you can, get on the throttle as early as you can without running too wide. That was. No, no, that was actually bang on. Absolutely bang on. Oh, turning too late there, though. Horrible line, why not cut the corner? Not going to count anyway. Actually, why not get it too much apex there? Turning too early. And actually, that, that corner that step was bang on. That was so sweet. Shift up too early. Oh, it cost me on the exit. Try to shift up early to get a good exit, and it's just cost me time. That's all it's done. Just cost me time, unfortunately. And why not cut the corner this time? Overcompensated, didn't I? Close to Romeo, though. Did cut the first corner as well. Oh, stupid bollard. I blame the bollard, not myself. <laughs> that was insane. Got too good a turn in. That corner's really, really frustrating because if you turn in too late, you miss that little that little bump just before the apex, um, which really boosts your car into the corner. If you turn in too late, you're already understeering and you're already too wide. And you never quite hit that bump. That little bump there as well. Never quite get the bump on the entrance, you never quite get the turn in. And if you turn in too early, again, it gets exaggerated by the bump because you really hit that bump and um, causes you to do that and hit the bollard or nearly do it a lot of the times. It's really hard to get a compromise between the two. I'm going to try, oh, I did try to stay in full throttle, probably can do it, but one of them very, very wide. One throttle, actually not well enough through there, to be fair. I'm going to cut the corner, doesn't really matter though. do not really care at the moment. Okay, but could take more speed through there, no doubt about that. And you don't get on the throttle very, very early in the exit. So, I haven't really strung together a great lap at all, have I yet? We've oh, been average at best laps, haven't they, to be honest? But we'll see if we can improve it further. I'm going to want to try and stick this video to about 10 minutes. That was a pretty sweet first corner, but could have been better. And again, that stupid pollard. You saw me there, turn in, then turn out, turn in, turn out, turn it just couldn't stop hitting that bollard. You get such, when you nail that corner, when you turn in just the right time, you get too much bite, and it's just ridiculous. Then if I literally was to turn in, probably literally about a metre later, I would uh, run wide. It's really, really frustrating, that corner. And again, lots of oversteer there. Gaining on my previous, though. Had a better exit. A bit deep and cut the corner badly. So say full throttle through it. Just about, just about. And that was a pretty horrible line. Well, it was nice, but it was cut. <laughs> this corner is absolutely full throttle, just about. I'm actually, quite a bit up my previous. It was a fairly average lap. With the cuts, of course, and <laughs> lots and lots of extensions. Wow, got full very early there. And I did come on, come on off the track, but um. So I managed to just not let the tail step out. And there we go, with an average lap, I've beaten my time by, well, two tenths, so definitely can improve that. Puts me inside a second on Romeo. Not me so weird a little bit there. Pushed me slightly wide, but got away a bit. Try breaking a little bit late this time. That was better, much better. Oh no. Oh, that was not a great exit. He's lots of curse to try and compensate, but it's not going to happen. 
unfortunately that wasn't great. That was pretty sweet. Just got a bit of wisp on the X and look at Roman. I think he must be using the FPS bug. Must be. Pretty sweet corner. Why on the X they're gonna use the rest of my curse here, why not? And half a second off my previous. Turn it nice, turn it. Oh, I'll cut that. Don't cut this next one. Just about managed to avoid that. Bit all over the track, aren't I? <laughs> Like the real Formula 1 drivers, just absolutely all over the shop. And again, why? This is not a clean lap, I'm going to carry on anyway. Three Formula 1 drivers get to do it, then so do I. I'll try not to cut that one, that running wide instead. Oh. <laughs> no, I can't do that, I can't do that. <laughs> I just feel too bad. That was such a bad lap. And I'm going to restart the session. Oh, we'll do one more lap. It's not been successful. That was just, I couldn't carry on with that lap. That was just so dirty. Pretty much every corner was spent off the track at some point, so I just couldn't live myself if I did that. I mean, I don't mind a bit of cutting here and there, but I think that was a bit much, wasn't it? But we'll uh, crack on now. Bit deep. Got for pretty sweet on the exit. I'm actually up on the world record. So down a bit late. Pretty awesome exit though, but watch Romeo look. I'll use all my curves and look, he's already gaining on me, so he's definitely using some sort of bug, I think. I didn't quite use all my curves, I want to save some, but I use most of it. And I'm miles off my previous. Break very late, just don't manage to get it turned in. It wasn't the greatest exit, I compromised the exit for the entry, but it's paid off pretty nicely. And seven tests on my previous, even better, and it's cleaner. Pretty awful corner there, could have definitely taken a lot more speed through there. Stay flat through here. Oh, it's going to push me wide, but Roman did it, so I'm going to do it. And could have gone throttle much earlier than that. And again, corner cut, but whatever. Not going to be able to do a clean lap, I don't think, on this track, not properly. A bit of a cut, no extension, though. No. Pick throttle nice and early, and this is closing where he gets to Roman. He's definitely using some sort of bug down the straight. Had a pretty horrific final corner. I managed to get pretty close to him. So we'll start four tenths off Romeo then. Who is, uh, well, I want to try and we'll do one more. This won't, probably won't be a full lap, but just want to prove my point now of uh, him down the straight. Hopefully, all I need to do is nail the first and second, first and third corner, actually, it is technically. That's what I need to do because I want to prove a point down the back straight. Use all of my curves down there, and hopefully, he'll pull away from me. Bit deep there. Lots of wisdom on the exit, and there we go. That's me ahead. Went out to neutral there for a brief second. Right, so I'm ahead of Roman. Had a better exit. Use all of my curves down here, and here as soon as I can. There we go. He's already pulled, already pulled in front of me. So I've used absolutely everything I can on the street. I've given it the full beans, and there goes Roman. So clearly something is up there. I'm going to carry on this lap because I might as well. Tried to get a sweet exit, it didn't really work, it was too wide. There we go, already down on myself. I can't rest that purely smart as well. Much better corner there, still not perfect though. That's pretty sweet, I'm actually up my previous just about. And again, still didn't get on the throttle quite as early as I would have liked. Um, just about avoid cutting. Oh, I still did one up extending though. And clear improvement then from my previous lap. Able to be had because it's been a, again a fairly average lap. It was one the exit. I can have a better final corner, but I'm not sure if I can beat it. Too deep, too deep. So yeah, pretty average. That was a pretty average lap, and I'm not far down on it, so I could definitely improve. Might try some more in, a, in a, another video, but it's just point proving there how much room is ahead. He's the world record holder. There we go, half a second down on him, and he actually only, only ended up getting about three tenths in the first sector, despite having that clear straight line speed advantage. Whether that was through the FPS, FPS glitch I mentioned before, gives you better straight line speed when you run higher FPS. Um, could have been through that and they've not reset the leaderboards, or could have been through an actual genuine hack, which I hope it wasn't. Same car, I was running one more wings, you can't catch me much better than that really, and uh, he's quite a bit faster than me in a straight line, wasn't he? So, something weird's going on there, but there we go, three tenths faster than him in the middle sector, and half a. Uh, 
Honestly, he was half a second up of me. Is that right? Yeah, half a second up of me, final sector. Wow. How do you do that? That doesn't sound right, does it? Because he has that horrible final corner. No idea how he's done that. Where's the... Yeah. Hmm. Unless he just massively cut a corner. I didn't really see it, but... There we go, then. I will, again, show you the leaderboards before we finish this video. Again, much longer than I wanted to. 16 minutes is probably going to be. There we go. New Delhi. There we go. Third place, not bad at all. Could definitely get second place left from J. Creo. No doubt about that. Very easy. I could probably beat the world record with a perfect lap. Um, but it's a bit disheartening when you gain so much down the straight, isn't it, really? Not a great deal I can do about that. But that's it for this video, then. And I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.